Okay, I'm giving these Hungry Jacks some cane, but they make so much noise as the horses come. It just don't work out for them. Yep. There he is, some cane. And here comes the horses. Take it away from them. Put some over here. Yeah, y'all come over here, follow me. Give you some cane. Oh, the horses like that cane. Huh? There comes snow. Come on, snow. Got you something. That's one snack they can have before the garden grows up. Some cane. I'll probably give them some more later on. They make so much noise. Snow, you're kind of pokey. You're not going to get any. She'll take them away from the donkeys. They better hurry up and eat it. Gus is going to grab hers. Oh, he got it. Snow knows, she knows that she can take him away from them. Well, maybe I'll bring you back some. Uh-oh, troublemaker. Yeah, I'll try to bring you back some more. I know you're all always hungry. this oats and they got the other horses they're looking what are they hauling for they got food we'll come get it take away from them y'all tell everybody you tell everybody here eat your eat your oats you better hurry up Why you keep telling on yourself? They're coming. Maybe they'll eat that. But I think they'll just run the donkeys off. It's too late. Y'all better hurry up. The donkey's got some sun chokes. I put out a lot out here. That way the horses got some. But they're still gonna run them off. But they're all around the fence. Oh, there's a sun choke. Put that over the fence. And Catalina and Jake, they're over here. They're the top ones that run everybody off. But they got plenty of sun chokes also. So everybody's eating over yonder while these two eating over here. In peace. I've been cleaning this little area up. There's a scarlet runner bean right there on that post. And over here are some cucumbers. It was covered with a uh, sun chokes and the rose was covered with sun chokes so I just cleaned it up let them have sun I know the sun chokes will come back up but I don't mind it this way they can have a little sun for a while now I have to go through there and clean it up and find a tomato I know I got some tomatoes in there but the sun chokes just growed up. So that's my next job. Well, I found my tomatoes. And this tomato here got frosted on and I left it. I thought it was going to die. So I planted this tomato. And then the sun chokes covered it up. But 
I found some other stuff. Some baby apricots under here. And here's some pecan babies. Pecan baby. Pecans. But I'll cut these pecans back when they get bigger and just use them for mulch. But it was a happy find finding these apricots. Now I can let some sun in here on these tomatoes. Maybe this little one will start growing better. It was total in the shade. And here's all of my leftovers going to the horses. They're right behind me. Well, there's the donkeys over there. Everybody's been watching me. So I gotta get up my sunchokes and give it to the horses. In the old food forest, there's a gopher. So I dug that hole up, put my juicy fruit in there. You can see he's been working on these sunchokes. Going through here. Some of the plants are dying. Right over here. I don't want him to come over this way. This is where my fig is. Right there. And he's right over here somewhere. Awful close. Maybe he'll find my juicy fruit before he gets over here. Sorry, the horse is taking your food away. I tried to give it to you. Yeah, well, maybe next time. Poor Annie. I got some plants coming up here. This is my potato bed area. There's a spaghetti squash and spaghetti squash, cucumbers. I had some onions through here. Something got them. So, here's my raspberry bush, and a lot of my potatoes, they went through a frost, and they just didn't turn out well, but there's a lizard. So, I got some cucumbers planted, and they're coming up, there's, uh, they're all through this fence. So they're coming up. And I've got pumpkin, or not pumpkin, but watermelons coming up. And I've got some pepper seed coming up. I was a little bit worried about it. And I don't know what kind they are. But they're coming up. And I've got some peppers over there. And they're coming up. Have to watch where I step. There's some more spaghetti squash, and he's already trying to climb, so I'm glad about that. I'm glad they're starting to climb the fence. I got a few tomatoes through there, so I have to wait and see. I had some spaghetti squash, about three others, and a squirrel got the plants. So, keep on trying. This has been the best winter bed. But now I'm just letting it, all this stuff grow up and seed out. It's lettuce and parsley. In the winter, when it gets cold, I'll cover it with this piece of glass. It's just a shower glass for a bathtub. But it sure makes a good winter bed. I can eat lettuce all through the winter. Hi, little cat. Did you run them donkeys off? Did you run them off? I know. Boy. I gotta get in here and clean this bed up. Plant some stuff. Here's an amaranth right there. A couple little ones. Some cucumbers. Lots of comfrey through here. Hollyhocks. 
Lots of willows. No, I don't mind the willows. Cools the ground down. So I got some artichokes through here. Bunch of onions I got to plant. So over here I got some white beans coming up over there. I just plant them wherever I could stick them. So cucumber, another tomato, squash, tomato, and other stuff around that way. So I need to get these onions planted real bad. I've been planting so much other stuff. They just gotta wait their turn. There's something in there I didn't see. I don't know what it is. Oh, maybe it's a bean right there. I drop seeds out of my pocket, so a lot of times stuff just comes up. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.